Oftentimes we test mankind's ability to trust robots, but can robots trust men? That's what a new experiment is testing with Hitchbot, Hitchbot, not Hitchcock, uh, a robot that will be hitchhiking across Canada pretty damn soon. I love it. Do you? Love it. I hate it. Sounds like the shittiest road movie ever. It doesn't, okay, so this robot cannot move. It, 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 it depends on people to be able to pick it up, put it in its car, and it will be able to tweet its location and what's going on. Tell jokes is apparently what it's gonna do. Has access to Wikipedia. Yes. Which, so, is, which is the thing that I'm most nervous about, because nobody likes a know-it-all <laughs> as a passenger. It's like, I hey, like do you know about the siege of Malta? Oh my God, get out here. Up. I don't get care. Out. No one's like, yeah, <laughs> no one's like, I had the best road trip. This guy who told me all about the siege of Malta. Yeah, that's so amazing. So, oh, I knew everything and wouldn't stop talking about it. So fantastic. Oh, I love that. It's going to get arrested for solicitation in a Santa Fe <laughs> rest stop, like a Saskatchewan rest stop. It's Where? too sweet and cute looking. They, they posted a picture picture of what it should look like on its uh, the Hitchbot website. It looks like the worst Photoshop job I've ever seen in my life. It's so what good. What is this? Is that a blender with pool noodle arms and <laughs> It looks like a coffee boots? grinder. Yeah. What is this? Is this even really a robot? Can you count this as a robot? I think the biggest challenge is knowing when you drive by this that that's what it is. So if I put it in a ditch, what happens? If you put it in a ditch, like Ed, the guy who created it knows it's in a ditch. However, you don't know that it's a hitchhiking robot. So are you going to pick it up? What and if like, I run over it in my car? What an accident. Was, yeah, one was, like I see like nice furniture I don't pick up and put in my car. Like mm -hmm. this looks like a like a fancy bomb. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Right? Oh, uh, there could, and it looks so ramshackle and easy to make that someone could make a bomb that looks just like it out of their own home. <laughs> and uh, disaster. Yeah, and then it's like so it's if, those Canadians. They're just if you pull over they're and nice. it doesn't start telling you about about like the Thomas Saint Alva Edison, <laughs> run away because it could be a bomb. So this thing should, must rely on its charms and ability to tell jokes and tell you about the siege of Malta. Uh, <laughs> When it's securing rides from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Victoria, British Columbia. This will not be an American experiment because we would run over it and put it in a ditch like I just said I would. Right, it can't move. That's its problem. I'll tell you what would get it across the country a lot faster if one of these hands moved, you know? Brett. For sex reasons. Yeah, I got it. Whoop, 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 whoop. This thing, like... That's the rule of the road. I don't, what is the reason? I would never Why pick this fuck? thing up. I, I don't, like, is it... I, I wouldn't pick up a human hitchhiker. D does anyone do that anymore? Yeah, no, no one does. Not since, like, murder started happening. Yeah, all, the the, movie, the Hitcher. all those yeah, murders the Hitcher. that happened. No, not, yeah, the, the whole idea of being on the road, Easy Rider was the last time, and we all know how that ended. Mm. I hate to spoil it for people, but it's been a while. It doesn't end well. Ends badly. It ends very poorly. Um, but I will say that, like, I don't understand who who's this person, like, what they're well, seeking to I gain from this. I don't understand how this is supposed to gauge human kindness. It's not like this lo thing looks like an actual robot and uh, right. there's something for me to gain or lose by picking it up or not picking it up. It's just like... Is this really altruism, or is this getting part of some kind of cheeky ploy to make this dumb-looking robot popular? I, uh, I participate in this hobby called uh, geocaching, sure. where you get uh, geographic uh, locations, and you go out and you find treasure, oh. and, and you sign your name and whatnot, and it's cool. It's an experience to go find. So you would literally, like, it says there's this, something's hidden at the top of the hill. You go to the top of the hill. They're like coordinates that you plug into your phone, and you go, and you sometimes you get more specific and sometimes less. Sometimes it's a big ammo box sometimes it's like a little pill container in the world it's an ammo it's like all over the world they're all oh, over the world that's but cool one of the interesting things about it is sometimes inside there there's something called a travel bug which basically says it has coordinates where it started and where it wants to end up and you mm -hmm. say oh, if you geocache a lot and you're you know want to move me closer to this direction deposit me in a different geocache somewhere else mm -hmm. but I mean that doesn't tell jokes or talk or have GPS associated with it it's just an experiment to see if we can move a thing across the country right. or across the state or what have you that's that's a, yeah. That's that, this is essentially that then. Right. Um, so people, it's going to apply, uh, appeal to a niche audience. It like needs. That. It needs to have people who can check where it is. That's the only way I think. There's two options. One, people need to be able to check where it is so that you go on the website and say, I just dropped this off, or it automatically uploads saying like, oh, now I'm in Nova Scotia, and well, I'm. Well, that's the that's the Twitter aspect. 
So that yeah. then it has to do that because so otherwise you need like actively find it. Yeah, that's what you need because otherwise you you have to rely on like a PR apparatus big enough so that everyone incidentally knows about it. So when they're driving, they're just like, oh, we're I know doing our part for our Canadian audience. Yep. That seems like a out. better uh, use for this than the to test human kindness yeah. for for AI or robots, which I find to be a very flimsy premise. Yeah, it's weird because it's not being kind to a human. Well, it's not even robot being kind kindness. to a robot. It's being kind to a pool noodle and a rain boot and a coffee grinder. But what does a robot make? Not that. Uh -huh. That's enough. what I'm going to say. Oh, what do you think? Would you be able, would you want to pick up this Hitchbot and take it with you across the country? Would you hodor around this brand Stark of a robot? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe and check out our Facebook page.